Connie Hawkins, who was one of the most heralded players that come out of high school basketball, was going to be made available in the NBA. Rather than just being awarded him, like I believe we should have been, we had to win a coin flip with Seattle. We did win that coin flip. And so we started the second season with some expectation. Well, I think the Hawk probably did more than any single individual to uh, bring the NBA to Phoenix. He was looked at as a legitimate you know, star in his first year with us. He made first team all NBA. Tony could do everything. Huge hands, great court vision. He rebounded. My hands are no way the size of his because I wanted to be able to palm the ball like that and move it all around. Hawk was one of the first guys to play above the rim. He had tremendous hands. He had a flair. Growing up, my older brothers would sit me down and, and say, we want you to watch this guy here. This is Connie Hawkins. He was one of the guys that I looked up to I tried to get something from his game to put into my game. As many people have said, including Julius Irving, that the Hawk was Dr. J's eye. The Hawk was doing all those slam dunks and things with the basketball uh, before Julius Irving was even playing the game on a college level. You know, he was Julius before Julius. Where did Julius get, Julius Irving get his stuff? I mean, it really was Hawk. His long strides and the swoop and all of that good stuff was fun to watch. He could score, he won games for us in the fourth quarter. And instead of losing them toward the end of the fourth quarter, our previous year, Connie would win games for us in the next year. Big difference. Connie Hawkins just uh, was such a part of the community and of the game and was the closest the Suns had had in those early years as, as a superstar. And he was terrific. Yeah.